Okay. New project. New project. What are the kids into these days? Uh, let's see what we got. No. Tiger beat. Aha. Kids. What's up, guys? So Lady Gaga has a new album out. It's called Chromatica. And on one of the promo shots, she's got this cool, articulated, mechanical claw hand thing. I thought it might be fun to try to make one. So let's, let's do this. this. Hey, guys. This project and the last few months have been a little challenging. Do not attempt to recreate this project for the sake of your own sanity. Thank you, and enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. So my main material is going to be PVC pipe. I've got some of your standard Schedule 40 PVC pipe. I believe this is a 2 inch diameter. And I'll also be using some of this 4 inch diameter PVC sewer pipe. As you can see on these scraps, the sewer pipe is only about half as thick as the Schedule 40. This will make it much easier to shape using the heat gun. I'll also be using this PVC cement and cleaner. Finally, everything will be held together with these small pins. These are actually the snapped off stems of pop rivets, because apparently I never throw anything away. First I need to make a ring that goes around the first knuckle of my finger. It will connect to a push rod that will activate the mechanism when I bend that joint. The ring will also connect to a small plate on the back of my hand. Let's flatten out some PVC and get started. I've already marked off some of the pieces I'll need. These two here will form the ring. I'll use the Dremel tool to cut them out. Now I'll clean up the edges on the belt sander. I'll bend the PVC around this small pipe to form a ring. It's about an inch in diameter. It seems close enough. I'll need to leave a little excess to attach the push rod. Here it is after a bit of a trim so it's a bit too big. I need it to be a little more snug. I'll cut it in half and remove a small amount from the top. It should be the right size when I reconnect it. This piece goes over the top of the ring. It will connect to the back plate. I'll shape it over the same pipe I used before. Okay, 
gear I've clamped my two ring halves around a piece of scrap PVC. It'll snap into that cover and close the gap between the two pieces. Excellent. Now let's seal the deal with some cement. Now I'm going to start on the first knuckle. I'll need these two pieces of the thinner PVC, and also these two top pieces from the thicker stock. As per usual, I'll use the belt sander to refine the shape. These look pretty good. Now I'll cut out these two smaller pieces for the inside layer. Here are all the pieces I need for the first knuckle. They'll stack together like so. I'll need this gap in the middle for the push rod. Here are the spots I need to mark for where I drill the pin holes. I need to round this part off so the joint can bend smoothly. It's time to start the second knuckle. Here are the two main pieces I need to cut out. Like before, I need to mark and drill the pinholes. This joint needs to be rounded off as well. The final piece is the fingertip. It'll consist of these three pieces. This looks about right. Now I'll make the two push rods that make the entire mechanism work.
round them off and drill the pinholes. Next I'll make two cowls to cover the first two knuckles. I'll be using the thinner PVC and I've made a couple of jigs that I'll use to bend them into a U shape of the right width. Now I'm going to get these two pieces into shape. Almost there. I just need to cut out a notch so that it'll fit around this hinge. I have another piece to cut out. You all know the drill. Now I just need to clean up this slot. So what is this piece? It's the part that the pad of my finger will press down on. I'll need to use the heat gun to bend a crook into it.
almost there, but this piece is a little bit too flexible. I'll need to insert a pin to keep it in place. And there you have it. Now it's just a small matter of doing all of that four more times and using different measurements for each of the other fingers. I wonder why this took so long. Looks like we're down to the last two pieces. This piece will connect to the wrist strap and this triangular piece will go on the back of the hand and will connect to the five fingers. Let's cut them out. For this piece, I have to heat it up and fold it so it'll slip around the strap. This piece of Velcro will function as the wrist strap. I still need to clean up this excess PVC on the edge. I don't want this piece to be flat. I'll heat it up and bend it around my hand. Before I do that though, I'll drill the holes that will connect to the fingers. Now that this piece is cleaned up, I can drill the holes that will connect it to the triangular plate. Everything's looking pretty good. It's time for a paint job. What do you say we hit it with some of this tactical matte black? Or what do you say we don't do that? That's right, we're going full gaga. It's about to get real. First though, PVC doesn't exactly get along with paint. I gotta hit it with this plastic bonding primer. Now for the fingertips. Earlier I showed a dark purple paint because I thought that the fingertips were a darker color, 
but after taking another look at the photo, it turns out that the Lady Gaga version has white fingertips. So this should complete the painting process.
this was a mistake. I really bit off more than I could chew with this one. From now on, I'm going to try to keep things simple. Now, full disclosure, the original Lady Gaga version of this was made by a guy named Gary Fay, and I based my design off of a really simple version he made out of popsicle sticks and wire. I just decided to beef up the materials a little bit. Now, from the video you just watched, it seems like it would be kind of a straightforward project, so why did it take so long? Well, the answer is I had to start over several times, and I couldn't know if anything had gone wrong until I had done almost a whole finger. I mean, look at my drawings and plans. Looking like the demented scratchings of a madman. And the lesson I've learned is this. The next time I try anything at this scale, I'm gonna need a 3D printer. Anyway, thanks for watching, and thanks for sticking with me through this gulf of time. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments, and like and subscribe!